see children so we have uh, completed the textual grammar na? so now we can do the workbook grammar we can do the workbook grammar from the lesson knowledge how wisdom got out how wisdom got out so in that we can do the exercise grammar part of workbook okay nana so now see the first one what do we have understanding the text you know this Workbook means first we have either true or false like this and question answers like this we get. Now in this here, so first one A, write T for true and F for false statement. So here total five statements they have given. In this five statements, so we should give T for true statement, F for false statement. That we should give it, Nana. Okay, ma. Now, see the one by one, you read that one and you tell me the answers, whether it is true or false. So, read the first one. What do we have? Anansi learned something new every day. Anansi learned something new every day. Did he learn new things every day or not? Yes, he learned, na? Yes. So, then we should write? Yes. True means T we should write. It's a true. Then we should write T. And see the second one. Anansi wants to share the wisdom with everyone. Did he want to share with everyone? Never at all. He keeps the knowledge part with him only. Na? So that's why Anansi wants to share the wisdom with everyone. No, it's wrong. So false statement. Then we should write F. False statement we should write F. Okay ma. And see the next one, Anansi thought of hiding the wisdom part. Anansi thought of hiding the wisdom part. So did he plan to hide the wisdom part on the tree top, right? Yes. So that's why it is true. Then we should write T. And see the next one, his son had been hiding behind the bush. So while he was going to the forest to hide that wisdom part, did his son followed him or not? Yes, his son followed him na? and then he hide himself behind the bush. So then this is also true. Very good. And see the next one. Anansi threw the pot down onto the ground. Did Anansi throw the, gro throw the, ground, uh, throw the pot on the ground? Did he throw? Yes. So whenever his son gave the suggestion, then he also have the knowledge. But I don't know. What is the use of this pot that he th said? Na? So immediately he threw that onto the ground. Then this is also true. This is also true. All right. So Anansi learned something new every day. So that is true. Then write the truth. All of you write in your book. So Anansi wants to share the wisdom with everyone so he didn't want to share anything that's why this is false statement and next one Anansi thought of hiding the wisdom part yes Anansi planned to hide his wisdom part on the top of the tree na? so that is also true then write T for that and see the next one his son had been hiding behind the bush so what his father was doing that his son observed na, by hiding himself behind the bush. So that is also true. And next one Anansi threw the pot down onto the ground. So Anansi threw the uh, wisdom pot onto the ground. Yes, this is also true. At last he did this one. Then only the total wisdom spread over all the corners of the world. All the corners of the world. Then we got the knowledge. Right. So this is the uh, this these are the statements they have given from the lesson. So out of those, one is the false and remaining true we got it. Okay Nana. So write these answers in your book all of you. Yes. See children. So the next one we can do. Answer the following questions. We can do this one. Answer the following questions. So what do we have? See this. See your book all of you. One by one questions we can do. So what's the first question? Read it ma. So who had all the wisdom of the world and whom did he give it? 
right so that's the first question who had all the wisdom of the world who had all the wisdom of the world yes a name that is a god name right and he had given that uh, all the wisdom wisdom part to the anansi right so story should remember anansi is the main character but first anansi got the wisdom from the name god name na? so the, now see the, uh, first see the question who had who had all the wisdom of the world all the wisdom of the world who had all the wisdom of the world and and whom did he whom did he give it whom did he give it whom did he give it so tell me the answer what can we write god name god name n y a m e god name up in the sky up in the sky had all the wisdom of the world had all the wisdom of the world who had all the wisdom of the world god name a uh, name up in the sky had all the wisdom of the world and so next what we have whom did he give it so that we can write the answer he kept all the wisdom he kept all the wisdom he kept all the wisdom stored up stored up in a clay pot stored up in a clay pot clay pot then he gave he gave the pot with all wisdom with all wisdom to anansi to anansi okay nana so see this one what do we have who had all the wisdom of the world and whom did he give it so god name up in the sky had all the wisdom of the world what is his name god name and where did where was he that is he is in the uh, uh, sky right so god name up in the sky had all the wisdom of the world so where did he keep this wisdom he kept all this wisdom stored up in a pot and clay pot and what to whom did he give that he gave to, he gave the pot with all wisdom to anansi he gave the pot with all wisdom to anansi right nana so this is the answer for the first question okay and see the second question what do we have how did anansi become rich he became rich na how yes for giving the answers to the people they get, they have given money to him na with the wisdom pot he got all the answers na so like that he got so write the see the question first how did how did anansi become rich how did anansi become rich so how did he become rich so see this one write the answer every time every time anansi every time anansi looked into the clay pot 
and on C looked into the clay pot looked into the clay pot he learned something looked into the clay pot he learned something he learned something new and he learned something new and he answered and he answered hundred other such questions hundred other such such questions such questions of people every day people every day then people paid him people paid him for all his wisdom for all his wisdom people paid him for all his wisdom and he grew rich and he grew rich so people paid the money na like that he became rich so what is that how did anansi become rich how did he become rich every time anansi looked in on into the clay pot so every time anansi looked into the clay pot he learned something new so whenever he looked into the pot he learned something new na? and then he answered hundred other such questions so like that he had given hundreds of questions whatever the people ask so hundred other such questions of people every day so whatever the people they ask he gave the answers and people paid him for all his wisdom so he was giving knowledge to them he was explaining na? that's why people paid people paid the amount then he grew rich he grew rich okay ma? so everything anansi looked every time anansi looked into the clay pot he learned something new and he answered hundred other such questions of people every day people paid him for all his wisdom and he grew rich okay nana so uh, write these two answers first and then i'll tell you the third answer see nana so see the third question what do we have all of you see the third question what was anansi afraid of what was anansi afraid of so why, what was anansi afraid of he was afraid of the wisdom to share with others right if he share the wisdom if he shares the wisdom everyone will get the knowledge so he couldn't get the money right so what did he decide to do so then what did he decide yes to store that wisdom pot on the top of the tree right right so like that he wanted to hide it so what he did so see the question first what is that what was Anansi afraid. Third question: What was what was Anansi afraid of? What was Anansi afraid of? What he what did he decide? What did he decide to do what did he decide to do so see the answer what can we write here answer anansi was anansi was greedy anansi was very greedy and anansi was very greedy and he thought he thought 
to keep he thought to keep all wisdom all wisdom to himself all wisdom to himself all wisdom to himself and did not want to share did not want to share did not want to share it with anyone with anyone then what he did he decided to keep he decided to keep the pot with the wisdom he decided to keep the pot with wisdom with the wisdom safe safe at the where at the top of a tree right at the top of a tall tree tall tree where nobody nobody else could get it nobody else could get it so see that what was anansi afraid of anansi was very greedy and he thought to keep all wisdom to himself and did not want to share it with anyone so he didn't want to share with anyone na? so that was he afraid anyone may take it then what he did what did he decide to do he decided to keep the pot with the wisdom safe at the top of the tall tree at the top of a tall tree where nobody else could get it so top of a tree means can anyone find it no so that place he wanted to keep it very safely okay na so that is the third answer and see the fourth question what do we have from where did anansi's son step out from where did anansi's son step out and what did he suggest his father so anansi's son suddenly came out now where from where yes from the bushy plants right from the bushes so and what did he suggest so his father to put that um, wisdom pot not of his front and should hand it hang it to the back right so that he suggested so now write the see the fourth one what is that from where from where did anansi's son did anansi's son from where did anansi's son step out step out and and what did he what did he suggest his father what did he suggest his father what did he suggest his father so then see the answer what can we write anansi's son anansi's son stepped out stepped out from stepped out from behind behind the bush stepped out from behind the bush where he had been hiding where he had been 
hiding. Who had been hiding? Yes, Anand says for the sun. He had been hiding. And then what did he suggested? He suggested. He suggested his father. He suggested his father to put the pot. To put the pot on his back. To put the pot on his back and then and then climb the tree and then climb the tree. So up to that Anansi uh, kept that pot in front, uh, front side uh, but uh, that because of that he fell down right. Now his son has given the suggestion yes you keep your pot back side then you can climb the tree easily that he suggested. That is also one type of knowledge no? yes. So this is the answer. What is that? Anansi's son stepped out from behind the bush. Anansi's son stepped out from behind the bush where he had been hiding and he suggested his father to put the pot on his back and then climb the tree and then climb the tree. Okay ma? So write these two answers. Next we can see the fifth answer. First write this one. See the fifth question ma? What is the fifth question? What did Anansi do and say after he grew angry? What did Anansi do and say after he grew angry? So when his son suggested him he got too much of angry. Na? Then what he did? What did he do? He threw the uh, pot, wisdom pot on the, onto the ground. Right? And later what did he say? So just this point I, what, I couldn't understand. My son also he got that knowledge. Why didn't I get that knowledge? What is the use of getting that wisdom pot with me? That he thought, na? yes, write the answer. So what is the first question? What is that? See the question. What did Anansi do? What did Anansi do and say and say after he grew angry. After he grew angry. So he got too much of angry. Na? So what did he do? After he grew angry. So what's the answer? Anansi. Anansi through through spelling be careful on a T H R E W through the pot down through the pot down onto the ground onto the ground onto the ground and said and said what is the point? What is the point of what is the point of all this point of all this wisdom? What is the point of all this wisdom? When my son knows when my son knows when my son knows how to how to do this how to do this simple thing how to do this simple thing Simple thing. Better than I do. Better than I do. 
okay na so he got this doubt so what is the use of getting this wisdom pot with me so then immediately he threw that wisdom pot onto the ground and said what is the point of all this wisdom so what is the use of all this wisdom when my son knows how to do this simple thing better than i do yes he felt up to that yes he has very good knowledge everything he knows and he only can do but he did foolishly but he suggested very uh, intelligent right so in that condition he got too much of angry right nana so what is the answer and anse threw the pot down on to the ground and said what is the point of all this wisdom what is the point of all this wisdom when my son knows uh, uh, how to do this simple thing better than i do this simple thing better than i do he can do better than me he suggested so what is the use of this wisdom pot with me no use that's why he threw that one right so this is the fifth answer and see the next question sixth question what do we have how did people get all the wisdom so how did people get all the wisdom yes when anansi threw the pot onto the ground then it is spread over all the corners na so then like that all the people got the wisdom right so see the question first how did how did people get people get all the wisdom all the wisdom how did people get all the wisdom how did they get yes write the answer when anansi when anansi threw the pot down threw the pot down when anansi threw the pot down all his wisdom all his wisdom flew out of the flew out of the pot flew out of the pot and scattered scattered around scattered around the four corners of the world four corners of the world and and people got the wisdom and people got the wisdom so like that all the people got wisdom okay children how did the people get all the wisdom yes when anansi threw the pot down all his wisdom flew out of the pot and scattered around the four corners of the world and people got the wisdom so when it is spread over scattered means it's spread over in all directions then the people got the wisdom right nana so these are the question answers all of you write answers in your book so these are the question answers then we can do the next one see children so the next one after the question answers we have word search word search what do we have in the word search first one see this fix six synonyms synonyms you know na meanings so six meanings of the word wise so here the word wise meaning six meanings we should find it where in this puzzle so here in this puzzle we should fix we have the puzzle so we should fix six synonyms of the word wise okay and complete the following following sentences with suitable words from the brackets so first we should find six synonyms of the word wise and then we should find we should write the answers so in the sentences so they have given the options with that you can write first we should find the six meanings of the 
वर्ड वाइज सो वाइज मीनिंग सिक्स सिनानिम्स वी शुड फाइंड इट ओके चिल्ड्रन सो सी द पजिल ऑल ऑफ यू सी द पजिल सो वट इज वट आर दोज सो मीनिंग्स ऑफ द वाइज न सो वन बै वन यू सी वट एवर यू फाइंड इट यू टेल मी दट वन सो सी द फस्ट लाइन एनी थिंग यू कैन फाइंड इट फस्ट लाइन यू सी वट इज दैट यज आई सा वन थिंग दट इज फस्ट ऐ गॉट इट कैन यू फाइंड first line only yes third line onwards if you see third letter onwards first line third letter what do we have a w a r e very good aware a w a r e so first line there only you have aware in the third letter from the third letter and see the second one second line total one if you see one word you are getting what is that enlightened so enlightened e e n l i g h t e n e d enlightened e n l i g h t e n e d enlightened so that is also we can take one of the meanings of wise okay and see the next one what can we take yes fourth line if you see yes third line you have sensible but is it the meaning of wise no that's why we cannot take that one but fourth line you see you have yes intelligent intelligent so spelling i n t i l i sorry i n t e l l i g e n t intelligent intelligent okay my fourth line totally if you take intelligent that is also one of the meanings of wise only right three you got it aware enlightened intelligent and uh, can you find the remaining any any uh, remaining four three you should find it what are those yes here in the seventh line seventh line down if you see yes smart s m a r t yes m a r t smart seventh one down okay na smart and seventh letter seventh line down you should and next one yes in the seventh sixth line sixth line third letter you see third letter and down third letter from the down what is that b r i g h t what is that bright b r i g h t bright word okay ma and next one yes slow is there s l o w but is it the meaning of wise no that's why we cannot take it and next one the same fifth line last you see yes that is a fifth line you can see from the first letter scholar yes c h o l a r yes of course that is uh, but uh, that is not uh, uh, sometimes we use that is also as the meaning of wise but here not necessary if you want you can round that one also scholar and the next one uh, here you see last line fifth line onwards last line down that is a last row fifth line down you see c l e v e r clever right so that is also one of the meanings of wise yes and yes last one you have silly s i l l y but that is not the meaning of wise that's why we cannot take so what are the words we can take aware enlightened intelligent scholar smart clever so six uh, sorry one more bright bright and uh, clever so seven we got it so whatever suitable that we can take in our sentences okay ma so understood all of you so circle these parts words and then we can do the sentences on this yes see children so we have done that uh, uh, puzzle na so whatever we got the six words in the puzzle that we should apply here in this sentences what are those sentences see ma so in this they have given already so uh, complete the following sentences with suitable words from the brackets so in the brackets they have given the words so with uh, from that we should take the suitable word suitable word what are those one by one you see first one tom always boasted of being tom always boasted of being very dash until he failed the final exam so until he failed the exam always he says very boastfully about him 
so how that is a very smart or sensible very smart so till he failed the exam yes i know everything i got everything like that very boastfully boastfully means to tell more than what they have so that we can call it boastful so here smart so then we can write tom always boast of being very smart very smart so why is meaning smart na so smart until he failed the final exam up to that i am a very smart boy like that he said but he, when he failed anyone believe that no yes see the next one the wise woman asked many questions so wise woman means yes they can ask that were not dash bright or intelligent but she asked so many questions but those were not bright or intelligent so that is those are not bright so here suitable one is that were not bright so not are good at all not are answerable to at all so that kind of questions the wise woman asked many questions that were not bright but those questions are not good at all and see the next one an ankush may be dash but he often makes careless mistakes Ankush may be, so uh, what is that? Either aware or clever. Ankush knows or he is clever. But he often makes some careless mistakes. Still we are clever. We make some mistakes. Na? So that's why here Ankush may be clever. He is clever but sometimes he makes careless mistakes. So Ankush may be clever but he often makes careless mistakes okay then and see the next one the soldiers became dash aware or clever that the enemy troops were moving in the same direction so enemy troops they are following like that they are trying so that what they know about that then what can we write aware or clever means here they aware they know about that so that we should write it aware so the soldiers became aware that they got the knowledge about that they got the information about that the enemy troops were moving in the same direction okay nana and see the next one a senegalese uh, uh, proverb states what is this senegalese senegalese means actually the country name so a person belongs to that country senegal country okay senegal not of eating senegal not like so senegalese senegalese okay so this person he said one proverb what is that dash uh, bright or intelligent enemy is worth more than a stupid friend what is that uh, proverb a uh, um, a wise enemy is worth more than a stupid friend actually a wise enemy what kind of wise enemy means which one we can take it a bright enemy or else an intelligent enemy here wise meaning two both are wise meanings only bright intelligent but which one is the suitable here yes an intelligent enemy an intelligent enemy is worth more than a stupid friend so then we can write it here that an intelligent intelligent enemy intelligent enemy that we should write it okay nana an intelligent enemy is worth more than a stupid friend so this we should take it here clear nana so write answers in your book all of you this yes see children so the next part what do we have write the meanings and make sentences of the following words so here total 10 words we have so for each word we should write the meaning and we should write the sentence also for that word okay nana so one by one you see first one what do we have wisdom first one we have wisdom so what is the meaning of wisdom wisdom meaning what can we take yes knowledge wisdom meaning we can take it knowledge knowledge and we can write the sentence by using the wisdom we should write the sentence so i am giving one sentence see that one without wisdom without wisdom a person cannot make 
a person cannot make cannot make the best decision cannot make the best decision can we take any decisions properly without knowledge without wisdom never at all right so that i am giving so wisdom means it is a knowledge so what's the sentence without wisdom a can a person cannot make the best decision right can we take any best decision never at all so a person cannot make the best decision okay ma so that is the first one i have given and see the second one what do we have trick second one they have given trick so what is the meaning of trick trick means we can write a mischievous act trick means we can write a mischievous act mischievous act a mischievous act trick means a mischievous act so what can we write the sentence for this for his last trick for his last trick the magician the magician made the magician made a rabbit disappear a magician made a rabbit disappear yes magicians they disappear some things and persons also sometimes na yes so by using the tricks only so for his last trick trick the magician made a rabbit disappear so the rabbit was disappeared because of his trick so that we can write it and see the next one suspect next one suspect so suspect means what i told you in the lesson suspect means doubtful suspect means doubtful so what is the sentence we can write it see the sentence the identify the identify of the victim the identify of the victim has not been released has not been released released and and no suspect information no suspect information no suspect information has been released has been released no suspect information has been released the identify of the victim has not been released the person has not been released and no suspect information has been released so no and no, any doubtful information also not at released okay ma that we can take it for the suspect okay ma yes see the next one what do we have occasion occasion we call it occasion occasion means that is happening or incident anything happen or incident that we can write it occasion so any occasion we call it that means anything happen or any incident is there so that we can take it so what is that sentence i am giving he was very happy he was very happy on the occasion on the occasion of his daughter on the occasion of his daughter wedding 
on the occasion of his daughter wedding so he was very happy on the occasion of his daughter wedding okay that is also one of one thing going to happen yes and see the next one fifth one what do we have scatter 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 means disperse spread over in all directions are disperse scatter means disperse so write the sentence on this so he scatters what do you do when you go home that the same thing i am giving he scatters all his books all his books all around the house all his books all around the house so for doing the homework when you open your bag you scatter all your books in the room na yes so he scatters all his books all around the room or all around the house okay nana so these you write down and then we can do the next sixth one so first copy all these five yes see nana so next one sixth one what do we have grab 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 means to take something sixth one we have grab grab means to take something to take something so that we call it grab to take something so what can we write here see do you want to do you want to grab something to eat do i do you want to grab something to eat so that we can write for the meaning grab okay na and see the next one beyond 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 means on or to father side father side father not father it's a father so more than okay beyond that beyond that means more than the enough okay farther side another side so that we can take it and write this one we could we could see the valley we could see the valley and the hills beyond and the hills beyond so another long side for the side that we can take it and see the next one all of you know this pot pot means what is this a deep round container a deep round container that is called pot round container so what can we write she rinsed the pot again she rinsed the pot again she rinsed the pot again before using for before using for cooking before using for cooking okay nana so pot pot is nothing but it's a round container so uh, sentence what can we write my mother prepares lunch in a pot or as we always drink water in a clay pot from a clay pot right so or else she rinses the pot again before using the using for cooking okay nana and see the next one what do we have bruise next word we have bruise bruise means injury na yes write down an injury an injury appearing 
an injury appearing as an area as an area of discolored skin as an area of discolored skin so suppose in our on our skin any scars that is a for that if you get it that we call it bruise some uh, skin fade out color different brown dark color black color green color like that we get on the skin when we uh, get uh, when we hurt uh, or hit something like that na? so that we call it bruise so any injury happen and that change the color of our skin that we call it bruise okay na, na? so write the sentence for this his body was His body was a mass of bruises, a mass of bruises, that means so many are there, after he had been, after he had been attacked, after he had been attacked. So someone attacked him, then he got so many bruises, injuries, marks. Okay, Nana. And see the last one, what do we have? Tumble. Tumble down. So tumble. So what is the tumble? Tumble means fall suddenly. Tumble means fall suddenly. Okay, ma. And sentence you write down. She walked forward. She walked forward. She walked forward. Tumbling down the. Tumbling down the. Remembering states. Remembering stairs. So from the staircase generally you fell down. Na? That we can write it here. Tumble down. Tumble down means she walked. That is a fall suddenly. So she walked forward. Tumbling down the remembering stairs. So there she couldn't remember that or anything. So from the stairs she fell down. She fell down. Okay Nana. So these are the meanings, words. A word with the meaning and using the sentences. Okay, Nana. So, write all these in your book. Yes, see children. So, the next one we have match the following. So, what is that? Match the following phrases with their meanings. So, here they have given the phrases and the meaning they have given this side. So, we should match this properly. Okay, Nana. And now see this one first one. A piece of cake. A piece of cake means a small piece in the cake? No. A piece of cake means it's very easy. It's very easy. Okay. So, a piece of cake. Once I am reading it and then you can see. A piece of cake. Back to square one. Back to square one. Beating around the bush. Cry wolf. All Greek to me. Cry wolf. All Greek to me. So, these we have. And to talk about, here options, what did they give? To talk about lots of unimportant things, but avoiding main points. But avoiding main points. So, leave about the main points and unnecessary topics we discuss. Na? That is here. And another one is lying. And another one is something that is too complicated to understand, which is very difficult to understand. And that a task that is simple to complete. So very easy to complete. And next one, to go back to the beginning. So again, to go back to the beginning. First one, start from the beginning. So these are the words we have. Okay, Nana. So now see this one. What is the first one? A piece of cake. So which one can you take it? Piece of cake means I told you very easy. So what is that? Yes, a task that is too simple, that is simple to complete. So then we can take it. D option is the first answer. 
D option is the first answer. That is a piece of cake means D option. A task that is to come that is simple to complete. Okay, Nana. Next one, what do we have? Back to square one. Back to square one. Square one. Back to square one means again start from the beginning. Again start from the beginning. Yes. So to go back to the beginning, that we call it square one. That is a go back to the beginning. We call it back to square one. Okay. Okay, Nana. Next one. Next one, what do we have? Beating around the bush. Beating around the bush. Beating around the bush means what is the important we don't find. Unnecessarily we round around, uh, think about it. So that is called beating around the bush. So to talk about lots of unimportant things but avoiding main points. Whatever the main important that we never discuss. But unnecessary points we take it. That in that condition we can say you are beating around the bush. That means main point we are not telling. Unnecessary points you are telling so that we can say you can you are beating around the bush so where is it a so this is the a option answer okay Nana. and now see this one cry wolf cry wolf cry wolf means lying cry wolf wolf cries can we believe them no so that is they are lying that's why cry wolf means b option <coughs> Cry wolf means B option lying. Next one, all Greek to me, all Greek to me, all Greek to means which we cannot understand anything. Very difficult to understand or complicated to understand. So something that is too complicated to understand, very difficult, completely uh, doubt, uh, think uh, we cannot understand that we can say all Greek to me. So then C option is the correct answer. Okay, Nana. So a piece of cake means which is very easy and simple to complete. Back to square means start from the beginning and beating around the beach means avoiding the main point and discuss the unimportant things and cry wolf means it's nothing but lying and all Greek to me means which we cannot understand anything very difficult to understand. Greek can you understand? No. So that is complicated to understand. That is our uh, all Greek to me. Okay Nana. So these are the answers. All of you write these options. Okay ma. Yes, see children, so next one we have writing skills. See your book all of you in the writing skills. What did they ask? Write a short paragraph on something. Write a short paragraph on something that you did for someone. That you did for someone or, or something that someone did for you. So you helped for someone or did, you did something for someone or else something, someone uh, did for you that you should write it. So use the chart below. Use the chart below. It may help you to build an account of the experiences. So here chart means four questions they have given. So with that questions uh, you can build the total story. Okay, Nana. What are those? Where and when did this act take place? So when it was happened, where it was happened. Maybe you did something to the others or some, some others did something to you. That you should see. And who were the people in it? So in that, you helped them or else they helped you. Who were the people in that? And another one is what was the problem or the need? So you helped them or they helped you. What was the problem? How did did they help you that you should find it and how was the problem solved so with the help of uh, with your help to your friend or with others helped you how did you solve the problem so these points you should write in a paragraph okay Nana will you write it or shall I tell you shall I tell you okay I'll tell you yes see that one yes write the paragraph all of you in your book a man so here I am taking a man that is uh, about this person. Uh, what I did the help. A man was standing on the corner. A man was standing on the corner. On the corner. Holding up his uh, Holding up. Holding up a sign. Holding up a sign 
reading so some signal something is there so what is that reading i am in need i am in need please help i am in need please help so that he kept the placard a paper in his uh, hand okay nan so i went up i went up and gave the man i went up and gave the man some change some change some amount some change and told told him that told him that my pet dog was missing my pet dog was missing and to let me know and to let me know to let me know if he saw him if he saw him so my pet dog whether you are going in all the places na have you seen my pet dog that i asked him so when i walked away when i walked away instead of holding up his instead of holding up holding up his sign his sign means he has a paper in his hand na instead of holding up that his sign the man held up the man held up held up the sign with my missing pet dog with my missing pet dog on it on it right now when i asked him when i asked him when i asked him why he why he chose to hold up when i chose to hold up the missing dogs sign missing dogs sign missing dog dogs sign rather than rather than continuing continuing to ask for money so first he asked i am in need i want help like that na so why didn't you hold up that one why did you hold up about the missing dog so that he asked so then the old the man told me the man told me what kind of a person would i be what kind of a person would i be if i didn't help 
if i didn't help someone else if i didn't help someone else so already i am in need i know that one so who are in need if i help them that is, that what i am expecting i get it so that he had given the answer okay nana see that so a man was standing on the corner so in the corner while going on a person stood there and holding up a sign so he has the uh, paper placard like this so what is what it was written that is a reading i am in need please help so he had written i am in need please help that paper sign he showed and i went up and gave the some change so generally if we see that kind of people some amount we give na that i gave and told him that my pet dog was missing and to let him know he if he saw him because he was there so if he had seen yes please tell me because it was missed so that i asked so then what he said when i walked away so by telling that i moved on but when i walked away instead of holding up his sign already his paper uh, i am in need please help instead of that the man held up the sign with the with my missing pet dog on it so now he changed that my pet dog is missing please help so when i asked him why he chose to hold up the missing dog's sign rather than continuing to ask for money so he wrote about the money but instead of that now he kept the missing dogs why that i asked for that the man told me what uh, what kind of a person would be what kind of a person would be if i didn't help someone else so i am in help i request help from others the same way others if they ask what in my hand i should help them na then i can expect from others also to help me okay nan so that he said in this okay nan so this is my experience like this i told you you write this one and like this you create some other story what happened in your life you suppose anything there like this you can write it okay nan so first write this one in your book yes see children so the last topic in this lesson that is how wisdom come out, how wisdom uh, got out so from this lesson the last topic life skill what do we have in the life skill see the question suppose suppose you have the pot of wisdom you have the pot of wisdom what would you do what do you do with that keep it with you like anansi and will you help others by sharing wisdom from the pot to our try to hide it explain so yes like anand say you also want to hide the pot of wisdom or else you want to share with others so explain for explain that one so uh, i'll tell you obviously you ask me to write it so i am telling that one write down all of you so now write this one wisdom grows wisdom grows out of knowledge out of knowledge experience out of knowledge experience and training wisdom grows out Uh, uh, out of knowledge experience and training with that we get all this knowledge na and it helps us it helps us to deal with to deal with what life offers what life offers what life offers the high points the high points as well as the the high points as well as the challenges so in the life whatever it happened we get it na so with the wisdom we can understand as well as the challenges 
and next knowledge knowledge are knowing knowing what to do what to do differs from wisdom differs from wisdom knowledge or knowing what to do differs from wisdom because wisdom is wisdom is the ability to understand wisdom is the ability to understand understand think understand think and and combine knowledge and experiences and combine knowledge and experiences combine knowledge and experiences combine knowledge and experiences in order to make in order to make good decisions in order to make good decisions wisdom moves us forward wisdom moves us forward to success forever to success for to success wisdom moves forward to success however we choose however we choose to define it however we choose to define it okay so wisdom moves us forward to success however we choose however we choose to define it okay ma so exactly can we define in the words means we cannot so with the success we can tell so what is that wisdom grows out of knowledge experience and training we getting the knowledge getting the experience and we get train up by doing the work we get the wisdom so it helps us to deal with what life offers so yes by getting the knowledge only what do we have in our life and the high points and as well as the challenges so so many struggles problems we are ready to face na? so that we get it and knowledge are knowing what to do knowledge or knowing what to do differs from wisdom so knowledge or knowing what to do these are completely different from not acceptable to the wisdom wisdom is the ability to understand wisdom if we have that ability to understand to think and combine knowledge and experiences in order to make good decisions all these if we have that is called wisdom okay nana and wisdom moves us forward to success however we choose to define it however we choose to define it but actually that is about the success even we try to define in the words but exactly means not at all so according to, in our work only we can say this is kind of wisdom okay nana so this is about the life skill part so how we, uh, what is that wisdom okay ma write in your book all of you and prepare this